All right, everybody, this is the new Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition Eberron module. This is the Rising from the Last War. And it's a, a new item. It is in the Fantasy Ground store. And it is also on Steam. And the price is $29.99. And this is a product by Wizards of the Coast. Now, as you can see here, I have gone ahead and activated the modules already. So what we have done is taken this massive book, Rising from the Last War, and we have broken it up into three different modules. So when you go into your modules here, you're going to do a search for uh, Eberron. And you'll notice that Rising from the Last War has a DM version a player's version, and then it has the Adventure Forgotten Relics. So we've taken care of everything for you and split it up so you just don't have this massive uh, massive module. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take a look at each one separately. And I've already got these loaded. So once you load each one of these modules, they'll show up in your Fantasy Grounds modules library. So we'll go ahead and we'll take it the we'll take a look at the adventure first. So you can just you can access all of the content here while you're in the library, or you can access all of the information in the story tab on the right hand side as well. And you can open up these windows as well, just holding down control and just dragging the window as large or as small as you want it. So that's a nice thing. If you're accessing the content from the right-hand side on the story tab, just use the group drop-down box here and just go ahead and look for Eberron Forgotten Relics. And there it is. And this is all of the information. Navigation bars at the bottom. You can just kind of go through every one of these story journals. Really easy. All of the access, the information is easily accessible. All of the images, all of the encounters, all of the loot parcels, and all of the information for each location is are on these story journals. So all the work has been, you know, pretty much done for you. So with Forgotten Relics, the adventure <clears throat> in the library, if you access all of the content, like I said, from either the library or the sidebar buttons on the right hand side, you can see all of the encounters are done for you. So you can just basically open up your party sheet, upper right corner, and you can enter, you know, you can basically, uh, your combat tracker for the encounters, I'm sorry. All you have to do is, is basically just open it up. You'll see here's all the, all of the creatures, a hound, three kobolds, etc. Here's the desk knolls. If you just want to generate it, just add the encounter, hit the add encounter button here on the bottom of the uh, parcel. You'll see that it'll automatically roll initiative for the monsters and it'll add them into the combat tracker. And then from there, you can go ahead and just place those on any map that you want to. So it makes generating encounters super easy for you. Next, with the encounters, after the encounters, all of the random encounters are, are there as well. And with the random encounters, uh, there will be a generate button there for you. So the generate button, when you do that, you press the, the generate button. It generate it basically creates an encounter parcel for you. And you know, if it's one D four guards, whatever it is, you randomly generate it. It'll put three in there for you. Then from here, you can just go ahead and add this encounter into the combat tracker once again, which you can access in the upper right hand corner. So you don't have to roll, it just automatically does it for you. So that's the random encounters. Next, here are all of the, the images. So here's a, the image of the harpy, all the beautiful art. There's a sprite, the war forged. It's nice to see the Warforged back, you know, 
a lot of my players were wanting to play the Warforged, which was an Unearthed Arcana from years ago. So it's nice to see them officially uh, part of D&D 5th Edition with the Eberron setting. I think it's amazing. I love the Warforged. So you can access all of the images and you can share that to all of your, you can share all of these images to your players as well. This will have all of your maps, any kind of maps for, you know, the adventure. So here's Terminus. Here's the DM version of the map for Terminus. Has all of the pins on the, on the map, side, side view map, top down. All of the story journals are, are linked to each room as well and this is like i said this is the this is the terminus dm and then here's the the terminus as well that you can actually you know that you'll be using to play and like i said hold down control and just resize the map any way you want to use your scroll wheel has all of the locations so you can turn on fog of war as well in fantasy grounds classic go to the layers and just hit the mask enable mask and there you go and all you have to do is just uncover it as your as your players are uncovering the map. Simple as that. Love the fog of war. So after all of the images and the maps, here are all of the new magic items. You'll be able to access these in the item sidebar button on the right hand side as well. These are all drag and drop that you can put onto your character sheet on the inventory tab. Next, here are the NPCs or the monsters that are in this adventure, Forgotten Relics. Everything is uh, in alphabetical order for you. And you'll also be able to uh, access these NPCs on the right-hand side on the NPC sidebar button. So you'll be able to access those as well there. All of these NPCs are fully statted for you guys. All of the attacks. So the uh, bandit has a scimitar, like crossbow. All of the attacks are built into the sheet. So you'll just roll the attack or drag and drop it on the token on the map. And it'll tell you if it's a hit or miss. And then in the chat box, you'll see there's a 16 hit, 7 to damage. Beautiful. Everything is taken care of for you. You don't have to create the monsters. It's already done for you. So next, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the, the treasure parcels. These are all of the parcels. So if you go into room 14B and there's X amount of loot in here, uh, you'll get that loot. So returning to Alden gives you 50 gold pieces. So what you'll do is you'll just go ahead and open up your party sheet, which you can access in the upper right-hand corner. And you'll just simply drag and drop that encounter onto the inventory tab of the party sheet. And as you do that, just drag and drop it. Look at that. It adds 50 gold into the party sheet. And then you just go ahead and distribute it by clicking on the dragon head icon, and it will distribute it evenly among all of the players that you have in the party sheet. So your players don't have to write anything. You can just go ahead and distribute it. You can just, you know, you can distribute uh, items and everything. So we'll go ahead and we'll add the bathroom in there as well. And as we do that, it adds the cleansing stone. And then you would just type in the name. It is case sensitive. So you would just type in if Splug was in your party you would just type in S-P-L-U-G. It will auto fill it in for you. And then you just go ahead and hit the distribute button down here, right here in the middle of the party sheet interface. This is beautiful. Players don't, your players can also drag and drop. They can also grab items from the parcel box and they can drag and drop those onto their equipment uh, or inventory tab on their character sheet as well. So it's a really nice function. Uh, it's it's uh, it's a good chunk of the bread and butter of what the Fantasy Grounds uh, program can do. I, I love the party sheet, uh, distributing experience points and uh, you know treasure loot. It's it's great. So next we have uh, here's all of the story journals. I've already shown you that from the sidebar button over here on the right hand side, 
And like I said, you can you can hold down control and open this up, make the story tab uh, as big or as small as you want. Here's all, if any, of the tables. So here are some apartment occupants that you can generate. So all you would do is just hit the roll button. And then you can see here, uh, it, would, it says uh, no current occupants. So you got lucky on that random generation roll. So. But it has all of the tables built in for you as well. All of the equipment. It has adventuring gear. All of this is drag and drop. You can add all of this onto the inventory tab of your character sheet as well. Everything is a drag and drop. Makes it really easy. No typing. Don't have to look it up. It's already there. Lastly, here's a reference manual, which is sort of like a, a, a PDF format that is uh, put into this for you as well. You open up the, the reference manual and... You got navigation buttons here on the bottom. It's broken up into chapters as well by sections of chapters as you open up the different chapters. And all you do is just use the navigation buttons down here at the bottom. And you can just scroll this from the beginning to the end. And you can just read it like a PDF. Isn't that nice? So that's a lot of content already. And that's just the adventure for rising from the last war. So this is a this is really nice. This is like I said, this is this is just the adventure. Forgotten relics. So next we'll go ahead and we'll take a look. We'll go back into our library and we'll go ahead and take a look at the player's content now. And the player's content has magic items. Look at all these infused items. They're all drag and drop onto the equipment tab of a character sheet, really easily accessible. They'll also be located in the items sidebar button on the right hand side. Here are the NPCs, couple NPCs, Homunculus Servant and the Steel Defender. Those will also be uh, located in the NPCs. Here's more tables. So if you're gonna be playing one of the the humans or half orcs or half elves, uh, the dragon marks. Here's all the different tables for their ideals, bonds, and flaws. Uh, there's just all kinds of different. There's uh, Boromar contracts, agency contracts. So there's all kinds of different tables that you can roll on. Basically, any table that is in Rising from the Last War has been made into a rollable table here in the Fantasy Grounds version of that supplement. Here is the new background. It is the house agent. It has all of the information for you. Next here are, here is the first, this is actually the Artificer. That is a, it's a pretty popular class. And the Artificer, believe it or not, is the first class for D&D 5e since its release in 2014. So you have the 12 core classes in the player's handbook and the artificer or artificer, however you want to say it, is the first class since the player's handbook. So this has all of the information for you. Has everything you need. Everything that's in the book is there. All of the spell casting mechanics all of these specialists, like being an alchemist or artillerist or battlesmith. It'll have the archetypes for you. So you can access that in the classes sidebar button as well. Here's all of the equipment. Here is a bunch of new adventuring uh, gear for Eberron. And here is a new weapon as well, the double-bladed scimitar. All that will be accessible in the item sidebar button on the right side. Here are the new feats for Rising from the Last War. They're drag and drop. You can put those onto the features tab of your character sheet. Here are all of the pieces of art, all the different chapters. Love the art. 
That's one thing about D&D. I always, you know, when I was a kid, I always loved the art. I think everybody, I think everybody has that relationship with the art. And it was like, it was like a big draw for me. That just got my mind turning. So there's all of the images. Here are all of the races that you can be in Eberron. Everything from the bugbear, changeling, dwarf, elf, gnome, goblin. All of the different dragon marks, which give you a uh, like a special perk if you decide to go with a like a human dragon mark or a half elf or a half orc. Warforged, the Shifter, and all of the other races like the Kalishtar that you can be in Emeron. Spells, there's uh, some artists. Well, of course, the Artificer gets a bunch of new spells. So here's everything from cantrips broken up in the levels for you. Kind of open this up for you. There's all the first level spells, second level, and it breaks it all the way to fifth level. And lastly, here's another reference manual, just like the adventure. And all you, it's like a, it's broken up into chapters. Chapters one, two, and three basically are for everything uh, for players. So we've done a, a nice job breaking up all of the player information. Your players will be able to access all of this information, especially, you know, letting them getting familiar with chapter three. Sharn. Here's everything. You can navigate it. Looks just like a PDF, just like you're reading out of the book. Super nice. Has all the art. Everything's put together. Nice layout. Last but not least, here is the DM version, which are all of the, you know, Dungeon Master Eyes only content. So here's all of the, you know, the images again. Pretty much, these are going to be all of the images combined from the adventure forgotten relics and also for the players. So all and plus everything from the GM stuff too, like all the maps and stuff. So same thing, all of the images, here's all of the tables again. Here's all of the equipment again. Here's the magic item templates. So you can basically what the magic item templates are, you can go into the, uh, the item sidebar button, and then you can open up the forge, which is right here in the top part of the items interface. And then you can take magic item templates and you can create magic items. This is something extra that we've done here at fantasy grounds to, you know, give the, the DM more customization possibilities for their games. So all you would do is you would just take a core piece of equipment like a piece of armor, and then you would take the living armor and drop it there, and then you would just forge magic item. So you would just take any kind of, you would have to look at it, it's any type of armor. So you could just go into your items here and just type in leather, for instance. And uh, it, it can't be a magical item. It'll be, there you go, and you just forge it. And then it creates it, look at that. It creates living leather armor. Isn't that beautiful? That's so awesome. And then it'll, you know, put it into your, your items sidebar button. So you can create tons and tons, an infinite amount of custom magic items with the forge. That's a great feature that has been added into the D&D 5e rule set. So these magic item templates allow you to take all of these different templates and create custom magic items. But the Forge is also s smart enough and intelligent enough to recognize if you're going to try to do the, you know, if you're going to add the, you know, Basalt Orb of Shielding into the magic item template, you won't be able to put that on to, say, a, you know, glass uh, vial of holy water or weapon. You can only, you know, put it on whatever it says. So, you can actually put, yeah, you can add, you actually have to put it on a wondrous item. So there you go. And then here's the finder's goggles you can put on onto uh, whatever you want to put it on. Uh, anything weapon related has to go on weapons. Anything armor related from templates has to go on a piece of armor. And it'll tell you if it doesn't work or not. So those are the magic item templates. 
I really recommend the DMs having fun with that. Here's a bunch of pre-made magic items. There are tons of them in the Rising from the Last War book. So they're all here located in the items slide of our button. They're all drag and drop. And also the magic items that you create, they're also drag and drop as well. Here's all of the monsters. Of course, every dungeon master loves an arsenal of uh, monsters when they get a, a new supplement book. So it has everything is in alphabetical order. Look at that. Beautiful. They're also located in the NPCs button on the right hand side. And then last but not least, we've also put together chapters four, five, and six into the reference manual because that's all the DM information. You'll remember that the player's guide has chapters one, two, and three. So once again, everything is broken up into chapters, sections, and you can navigate it just like a PDF. You can open up this interface by holding down control and navigating through it, reading it just like the book or a PDF. So there you go, everybody. That's what you get with the new Eberron Rising from the Last War supplement by Wizards of the Coast. You can pick this up on the Fantasy Grounds website or on Steam as DLC. The price is $29.99. And you get these three great modules already broken up for you. Everything is drag and drop. And it will make playing Eberron Rising from the Last War easy using the Fantasy Grounds virtual tabletop program. So let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Are you an Eberron fan? And are you happy that Eberron is now out for 5e? I know I'm happy about it because I, I love the, the Warforge and I allow my players to play any of the races from Eberron in any D&D 5e setting. The monsters, you can just mix and mingle with all the different uh, settings and supplements and Eberron's a great addition for D&D 5e. So let me know down in the section below, comment section. Let me know what you think about it. And until next video, happy gaming. Stay safe. And keep using the awesome Fantasy Grounds Virtual Tabletop Program. Bye, everybody.